I don't know why the last two weeks this motherfucker had this bitch cold as hell. That's why I wear all Bro, this. Bro, because when it's not on, the shit be, when it's not on, the shit stuff. get hot as fuck. What? Do you want to check me? Also, you can it's move the chair to like this side. I can move the chair to any side of the room. <laughs> I bet Bobby got this bit. This Arctic nah. ass temperature this what? <laughs> Damn. Bro, Damn. Yo, yo, we we are recording. Bro. I've been recording for the last two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, we still really getting things ready. Time, <laughs> this is the pre window, bro. It's cold outside. This, this the pre window. Damn, Damn bro. The archaic ass soap, nigga. Just open the window, bro. You weren't going to say nothing to her. <laughs> this shit is crazy. <laughs> you got the fan on? Yeah. <laughs> that bitch making like cold air and the fan is distributing that bit. <laughs> audience, audience, I'm trying to get everybody nice and cool so we can have a good pod. <laughs> not my and, they, and they are literally just Damn. destroying, they're throwing back all my niceness in my face. <laughs> Turn the heat I, up, I give niggas soap and so they can wash their hands oh, in the bathroom. Really? And they don't even want to use the soap. They gonna talk shit about the soap we got in the yeah, bathroom. So oh my god, man! You ungrateful <laughs> bastards! Did you turn fan up? Yes. <laughs> you invite niggas to the podcast? They, oh man! Wow! <laughs> can I intro this thing, guys? Can we do this? Can we? Can we? Get, can we get rolling? That was honestly. I've been rolling for like three minutes now. This is good. All right, let's let's do it. Let's have a good fucking time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Writer's Block Podcast. Let me get a round of applause because I got some <laughs> special guests in the building. All right. Um, immediately to my left, you know, my guy out of town uh, pulled up just to do this podcast. You know what I mean? <laughs> what? There's nobody to your left. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Hey, you got that you like, yeah, you know <laughs> To the left, nigga, you know what I mean? To the left. Oh, I'm just okay. listening. Listen. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. All right, to my right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I was going with that shit. Too. Listen, listen. <laughs> Things might get chaotic, guys. We got four people on the mic today, but we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure out how to pod. <laughs> To my right, I'm sorry. To my right, all right. My brother from out of town, man. He's been doing his thing. Funny, funny, funny ass comedian, man. Uh, I got Cam Patterson back once again. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause. Yeah, it's hard. I appreciate you coming through again, brother, man. Thank nah, you. Thank you. It's hard. I like this. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're very, very confident. Exactly. And then I also got to introduce, you know, the people who've been rocking with me, helping me fucking move this show forward and get things going. My best buds, my gang, my guys, and my girl is back. We got Logan and Ali back in the building over there. How y'all feeling? Everybody good? Everybody all right? Everybody Wonderful. cool? Sunday Sensational. Night. Sensational. Let me get my mic right, right. cause we got we got a good fucking pile today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited. All right, today was a hype ass fucking day. First bro, of all, today bro. was a hype ass day. As you can see, me and Logan is repping. You know what I mean? Me and Logan repping, cause uh, the Jaguars did they thing. Fuck a cowboy, and cowgirl. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Um, but before we get to talking about sports, we also you know this is a comedy podcast, so we might as well get rolling. Because uh, Cam, you came down to Jacksonville to do a uh, show that popped up. Uh, me as a Jacksonville comedian have never seen before in my life. It was the most nigga shit I've ever done in my life. <laughs> it was the most right. nigga shit ever. Talk about it. Talk about it. And send me the flyer so I can put this. So I can put <laughs> this shit in the picture. No, right. so they, they deleted all everything ever tried to delete it. Already, it's already gone. Oh my god! I ain't even screenshot that shit. That's Bruh. funny as fuck. It was a brunch that started at five o'clock. Oh. <laughs> nigga, we had lunch, dog. <laughs> nigga, y'all had supper, bro. That's <laughs> definitely <laughs> supper time. <laughs> that's dinner. That's dinner. <laughs> and then we get there, and buddy, like, yeah, it's most of this shit on the table. It's in coffee cups. I like little coffee cups. It's all. It's like it's twenty seven mimosas. It's twelve people there, all in coffee cups. It's niggas in the back serving uh 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 damn food uh what is it infused with like weed and shit. Oh okay all right can of cannabis yeah. with like cannabinoid Edibles. shit like that. Yeah no 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 they had like like waffles and like chicken but it was all infused with weed okay. but nobody touched it <laughs> <laughs> like it was like it was full. They know who cooked it that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, I'm not weed. This I think niggas love weed. Bro, I, I, listen listen you didn't even describe the establishment as a trustworthy place. Uh, it wasn't first it wasn't of all. So. <laughs> I walked up, but there was 17 goons that greeted me. I was like, you the comedian, nigga? That was up. Oh. Hell yeah. So starting from the beginning, bro, you, you, you were, he was out here in Jacksonville in the hood doing a brunch show. First of all, 
First of all, the flyer said the brunch started at 2 p.m. While the Jags game was going on at the <laughs> same, at the same time, <laughs> so I knew that, I knew it wasn't no was way people was gonna be there. No, <laughs> at 2 p.m. That's no. shit. <laughs> on a Sunday. Nigga, I imagine going to brunch and it's just you. Nigga, you know, he go, hey, bro. I, I think it's just because the day we did it on, bro. <laughs> Dang. Niggas ain't really fucking with it. Last show was popping. La- he said last night it yeah. was swinging. Nigga, yeah, shit last night. Last night. Last night. Shit, last night. Right now, this shit. Man, you know oh, what I just realized too? What? And like urban, like in urban spaces, my name is Cam So Funny. Like mm-hmm. your name. And yeah. the mainstream place, they just call me Cameron Patterson because they said fuck that nigga shit. Mm. But the whole time I was there, like, Cam So Funny. I was the host, the feature, and the headliner. <laughs> okay. They just gave me the microphone okay, and said, so- nigga, do it. Hey, go up there. Th- bro, like, wait, wait, wait. So you. <laughs> That means you started the show, and you were like you brought yourself up. First of all, you brought me, yourself up. He go, you ready? I said, yeah. The DJ was like, all right, Cam, come on. <laughs> Yo, that's a terrible way to intro. <laughs> what was happening before this? Like, what was the event? Like, what were people was, doing? Niggas was smoking. Niggas was just, <laughs> it was yeah. twelve months sitting. They was just sitting around like, oh, they, it was like when I when I walked in. Yeah. This is what I realized, right? So when I walked in, it was uh, it was seven goons. And like like uh like nine bored bitches. They were just bored and angry. <laughs> and now they were like, yeah, these are audience. These niggas you gotta make laugh. And then when they before they bring me up, they were like, yeah, this this shit right here, here come Cam, they brought me to the stage. Yeah. And then everybody was in the back. So the first two minutes, like everybody come to the front, come fuck with me in the front. So okay. I went there for two minutes. And then I had looked and everybody was like, well nigga, do something. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I just talked shit for about, about fifteen of the minutes to yeah. start a twerk contest. Yeah, Yo, nigga, you stop a wait, 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 you stop material to do a twerk contest. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was the better option. <laughs> It wasn't going good. good. If, if it was, I mean, it wasn't going horrible, but it was like these yeah. niggas don't want to see me talk. Uh, yeah. So the niggas was twerking. Was Fuck no. What? I mean, I, you could do that. You could I'm do asking. that. I'm, you I, can enjoy twerking if you want to. You I'm said not you had seventeen it. goals and folk. Huh? I, you said it was seventeen the goals. Twerking was for them. <laughs> okay. You know okay. Yeah. They, they were tired of me talking. One, I kept saying one girl so pussy the whole time. Nah, uh, did she? She probably did. I asked her what her job was. She said I work. So I was like, you said pussy. A hundred percent, you said pussy. Shit, I got a job. Oh man! What the fuck? One girl was like, "I'm a manager." What the fuck do you manage? <laughs> that don't even answer my question. Shit, I'm a manager. <laughs> what of what, bitch? What's the name of the show? They they put a date. What was it? It Bear. was brunch with bad bitches. <laughs> yeah, it literally. Yo, the flyer literally said brunch with baddies. Wait, wait I gotta find it, bro. I, I, I'm a look. I'm a I'm I'm you, find bro. It, it was one of the guys somewhere. As soon as I left, he was like, "Fuck it, let's go." Yeah, it, it, it looked like the goddamn pool party flyers that Jacksonville used to throw out back I in the day. It was growing up. I don't even have to. Like, yes. I don't even have to like see it. I already know it. what it looked like. <laughs> oh, Please shit. send that. Please send that so I can throw it on the screen for the audience, man. Uh, either way, nevertheless, I'm happy to have you here, brother. Thank that you, bro, for sliding over this way to, to, to do the pod, man. I'm happy to have you. Audience, we only have, like, uh, like two more episodes, man. This is the last episode, and then we got one more in this studio, and then, you know, it's coming for the New Year, bro. Shit came yeah. by quickly. Y'all excited, bro? We got we got Christmas, and then New Year's literally next week, bro. This I'm ready to be literally, literally this week. Bro. It went by pretty, pretty fucking fast. It was yeah. crazy. What, what y'all got going on? I'm not excited. What do I have going on? Well, you say, what, you, you say you're not excited? No. Why? Because I'm broke, nigga. All right, nigga, you just they ain't pay you at the brunch. They paid me a drug money. All right, all right. Well, they paid me. I got seventy five ones in my pocket right now. <laughs> <laughs> seventy five ones, five edible waffles, <laughs> a gallon of orange juice. <laughs> I'm good for a little bit. Oh my god, that's funny as hell. <laughs> said gallon of orange juice. <laughs> Logan, are you excited? You y'all, Ali, y'all excited for New Year's or Christmas? I mean, I'm excited as I mean, I'm excited as I can be. I, you know, Christmas is my. I think. Christmas is my favorite holiday. I thought it was Thanksgiving, but it's Christmas. I love giving. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love receiving more. Probably. Mm. That's, the best part so, you know, okay. that's definitely the best part. A little, little, little selfishness for 2023. Yeah. Give it up a little bit. Be yourself. Yeah. Do you treat ourselves. You need so. it. You know, I told you. Bro, I'm, I'm excited. Be, I'm, my, my narcissism. Uh, my narcissism trip. Oh, it started working. Bro. Invented a whole word. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm nice. I'm nice. I invented a whole word. A word. A dance. I'm, I'm, 20, I'm on 2023 ass, bro. I'm in the kid's brain. Bobby Bob. Bobby Bob. That shit. Bobby Bob. Nigga. Hey, hey. We gonna go to the club when it's finally time to stun on some niggas. Logan, the producer, bro. This my nigga right here, man. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ellis yeah, producer in Jacksonville. I, I got it. He needs to get. He needs to, I got the he Ellis down. He don't even have the I got, for that. I man. got the Ellis producer in Jacksonville co host of my podcast, bro. Niggas asleep. Do the Bobby Bop. That's my song. You got a verse. You got a verse. We're the new new boys. Go strike the bar. We're the new new boys. We're the new new boys. Let's get it, bro. You got glasses, bitch. Come on. Fuck with me. Oh, man. Oh, shit. I told him, bro, like, like I got maybe like another year. And then I'm ready to start flexing, bro. I'm ready to start stunning. Even if I don't got it, I, you get, it's, it's a season. I learned from from watching other people's career. It's a season. You got to stunt on niggas just to stunt. You know, niggas, niggas will prepare to stunt for nine months before they stunt in the last. Yeah, three. I'm about, right. yeah. We got to start to prepare to stunt. You're not gonna see. Like, I promise you. Like they 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 doing all the shit for the for album rollout for like for her loss. They are doing all of it now. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then after this bit, it's nine months of preparing for the next time you want to stunt. You can't stunt twenty four seven. It's hard. It's hard. It's dude. hard. Yeah. It's, you go it's broke stunt twenty four seven. Hey, hey. Bars, bars. Come on, man. Allie. So, what are you gonna do to like make yourself be more? Damn, she asked for the. Well, you mean like like my pl- my plan to like to like start? What do you mean? Make myself do what? To the like stunt. To, what am I gonna do? Two stunt or prepare yeah. to stunt? Two stunt. What am I gonna do? Two stunt. Well, first of all, all right, we're renting out clubs out here in Jack. You know, bottles, okay, okay. bitches. Brunch, you okay. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Don't, right do that there. One. don't do that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you, 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 I, I, was, I was gonna give him a couple, a couple months to elevate. You okay. know, we don't know, we don't know what they come up with. Right. I think niggas have right. the definition of brunch, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough of the focus was there. <laughs> nah, nah, dead ass. I think um, my ultimate start goal for us, I, re- I want us to go do a pod overseas. That'd be hard. I, that would be hard. That'd that would be hard. But, you know, first, huh? Nigga, it don't matter. I've never been nowhere. Nigga, we gonna Overseas. be something. Nigga, we could be. We could literally just go to whatever island is over there. Bobby has oh, not been on a plane before. First piece of land. Yeah, nigga, the first like, piece of land I see that, after man. water, man. Pop. We setting up. Is Hawaii overseas? That's what they said. Ah, before I, it's no. overseas. You gotta get overseas to get there. <laughs> hey, hey, I nigga talk. Come on, man. You ever performed out? Of, you performed out overseas yet? Nah, no. Yeah, nah, nah. The closest I've been overseas is Atlanta. <laughs> 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 that was it. Dude. That's funny. Oh man, uh, I think uh, I don't know, man. I, I got some stunt plans. You know what I mean? I got I got some stuff plans with comedy. I got some stunt plans with the podcast. You know, as far as where I want to take the space and some shows and shit. Is she giving me the light. You want me right? Is that what that is? is she, no. she 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 giving me the comedy light over there with the flashlight. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. <laughs> Wrap this shit Wrap up. This shit up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cam's gotta go. We got Cam manager in the back lighting the nigga and shit. Come wrap the shit up, man. You know. <laughs> Oh man! Um, I was at the Comedy Zone this past weekend, man. We can uh, we can roll over there. Shout out to the good people at the Comedy Zone, my partners yeah, yeah, here with this sure. podcast. Uh, Preacher Lawson was in town this week. Oh, uh, you you know so you know Pre- y'all know who Preacher Lawson is, man. No, he was on uh, America's Got Talent a long time ago, and uh, yeah, he almost won. He he lost in the final round to, to like to a, a it was like a twelve year old girl with a with, with a ventriloquist. Is that the shit they call people who got the puppets? And yeah, shit? yeah. yeah a, ventrilo- yeah. a ventriloquist. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Equivalent. He's not using all these words. <laughs> <laughs> now he's on the vowels. The vocabulary is. The equivalent. I bench the civilist. <laughs> that bitch do something with V's. <laughs> he lost to a violinist. All right, guys. So anyway, anyway. All right. Yeah. All right um, nah, it was fun. And uh, uh, but he rocked that bitch out, bro. So he fr- I, he's from Orlando, yeah. um, and I got to work with his brother Justin Lawson. Shout out to Justin, man. That's I've been trying people. to get him on his podcast. I did Milk District out there in Orlando. Yeah. Uh, so these are places where Cam runs around. That's why I'm name dropping the shows. Yeah, like, good so, place, yeah. Cal- so if you're in Orlando, you know, stop by, buy a ticket. What y'all got? Orlando uh, Milk District. Milk District. We got uh, Don't Tell now. Mm, hey, Don't Tell yeah. Shit Sandwich. I know this man had a great time in the Milk District. <laughs> all right, nigga. All right, all right. Little white woman double yeah. entendre. I oh. see what you did. You like white women, nigga? Wait, no, I like all women. Come on now, don't do that. Uh, what? What? Now what? Saying, I'll, 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 your turn. Your go. Oh, you like? <laughs> your go. <laughs> <laughs> we can turn this bitch up now. We can pod this bitch up. I love, I love my girlfriend that's in the corner over there. I, shit. Oh man, white woman is cool. I'm not on cancel me. Nah, there's a lot. We, we, it's, it's a little fun we have. You know what I mean? A little fun. <laughs> however, however, I will say the last. <laughs> Me and Logan, a little fun game we play, you know. Accusations, false accusations. What am I dropping? What am I dropping? Let me get my drop back. False accusations. Accusations. These are not accusations. This is false accusation. 
Oh, you can't hear it. Now we do it. We roll. We roll. Um, but yeah, <laughs> Preacher Lawson, man, it was uh, it was dope. First of all, shout out to Preacher, man. He uh, he let me jump on his show, man. Sold out fucking show. Three hundred people out there reached out to him. You know, we talked for a little bit the day before, but um, you know, show him out. Like, like people coming through. And uh, I hope that I'm that kind of comedian later on, bro. We're like, I don't, you know, some people be snobby and shit like that. He was a very cool dude, man. Him, his mom was the feature. Shout out to Mama Lawson. Um, mm-hmm. They were just very nice to me, bro. I did my, I literally, like, that was the night, bro, where I felt like I fucking came alive on stage and shit like that. Like, because, first of all, I couldn't curse. Yeah, like, he, I asked him for guest spot. He was like, yeah. I was like, bet. I'm going to fuck this shit up. And he was like, yeah. Don't curse in the show though. And I was like, oh, okay, well, let me tweak some stuff. So I spent like two hours just changing uh, my material. And I got some new punchlines out of that that I didn't even think would come. Did it at the show, bro. That'd be rocked way better than what I was doing before. And I'm like, oh, no. 2023, I'm on these niggas' asses. It, it, it's been good, on film? Anybody record it? Absolutely. Come on, son. I'm trying you to know, see that. You know, you want to we, we, I was, you know, if we would have started it earlier today, I would have played it for you. But, you know, I got it here. Okay. Well, I'll play it before we leave. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> But yeah, man, it was great. It was great. I had a fun time, man. Shout out to Preacher, bro, for for letting letting the nigga who he didn't know be on his sold out show. You know, just show up. Nah, he's good people, man. And then, and then, bro, kicking in the green room, and Brandon didn't have to do me some bread. Just you know, threw me some bread on the show. Okay, yeah, he's, he's, my guy, my right. fucking guy. I appreciate it. Man. That's good Orlando people. Orlando niggas nice. pretty good people. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Orlando niggas like that. You know, I was born in Orlando. I can claim that if I want to. Now, y'all just, yeah, I'm just saying. Either way, I'm trying That's to get people on the map. Born here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Now, y'all, people shout out to all yeah. I will, I will say a lot of the people from the, from y'all scene I do rock with, bro. Yeah, but you know you might not fuck you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. We come out, we come out. Oh, um, but yeah, man, it was a lot of fun. So uh, I don't know who's coming in the next year. I'm laying low until 2023. Uh, you got any more shows coming up? I'm trying to do a mix so niggas can put me on. Mm, you know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't do look bad. No, I'm playing. What? Uh, I said, make me look bad. No, I'm playing. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. A lot of people do that. They be like, I'm done for the rest of the year. Like, nigga, why? They not over. <laughs> <laughs> why the Yo, you damn right. You damn right, nigga. That's you close. Got that brunch, so nigga, like, yeah, come ahead for this chicken. Nah, that would have slapped. That, that would have hit, you know. But uh, um, like, what, what we got going on, bro? First of all, in Jacksonville, the comedy scene is not like that. Like, y'all aren't coming. Like, people aren't coming out to a show on like Christmas week, New Year's week, like they would in I'm y'all like, city. Yeah. Like, I'm Logan like, was at the last River City show that we did uh, at the Comedy Zone. Oh. Yeah, and I went to one before that too. Yeah, yeah, but you saw as much work as we put into marketing and stuff like that. Yeah, and, y'all was on the news and shit. Like, trying to, you know, yeah, I mean, like that, that's one of the this biggest flops. Yeah, but whole city is like, we working, we work, huh? It, it flops. Like it didn't flop. Yeah, it was like one group of people was like. It was like uh, like thirty group. people, what, 30, 40 people. It was probably like closer to that, yeah, because there was people behind. I was getting kind of close to the front, so there's yeah. people behind. But there was like a, t- a a company did like a dinner, and then it was like a like the people Bobby brought, and then there was like a handful of like dispersed people mm-hmm. like in around. Yeah, it, it definitely you know what I mean, but like we just gotta find a way to 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 get in front of the people like uh, but you know. It, that, that's just kind of what we have here. You know what I mean? Like, like everybody want to be like, oh, I'm going to change this city. I'm going to get this shit rocking. Not. But yeah. what realistically happens and what I'm glad that I know and I learned this from even watching you move around is like, we got to go get our shit out there and then bring it back home. You know what I mean? That's how this shit kind of shit yeah. goes. You know? Yeah. So that's why February I'm in LA. March I'm in New York. Be, be You know, I'm trying to shake around. Try to do some shit in 2023, you know? One thing about New York, but you got to know me and people. Hey, hey, I'm at 10. We go. <laughs> that's that's not how nine nine left, nigga. We out. Y'all almost there, nigga. Nah, really that shit is it's, it's tough though. I like New York. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was trying to figure out why I feel naked right now on the podcast. It's because I'm not wearing, you know, my piece. What? My, my you have to people. What? You're not wearing your hat either. You know, I took that out. You know, I'm trying. I'm try, it's the pod. We chill. We, you know, we chill. We, I was wearing you were, start you're usually a hat guy. I am a hat guy. You know what I mean? But I think uh, I think I might is it try to not be a hat guy. It was. But now I'm trying to embrace all my flaws, you know. What I mean? I, because some, I'm gonna tell you what a girl told me. L- literally, a girl told me the other day. <laughs> she literally said, "You know what, Bobby? You're decently cute, actually." I said, well, <laughs> "I said, wait, wait. I don't even know how to feel with that." That's what? backhand and compliment. Because right. right. yeah. at first she thought she was ugly. Yeah, that's, I, that's what it sounded like. like. Yeah. You started telling a little bit of jokes. Like, it's, it's, uh, uh, you know, I can like, get past everything, which, which I'm not mad about. Because if I'm being real, I'm like, you know, I used to be. But like, now I'm like, I'm like, I think I'm like a seven right now. I came up, you know, I was like a four. I worked my way up for the last six years. Respect. A lot of shit going on. I don't know. It's good, man. <laughs> it was, but either way, either way, I, I blocked the shit out of her. Number, fuck you. Damn. It's all right. Uh, did y'all hear about uh, this girl got stood up? No, you didn't because it was on TikTok, and I have to tell you about it anyway. I saw the funniest video ever. All right. This girl, oh wait, what happened? Oh, oh no, 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 it was a, it was a girl on a date, right? 
So the guy showed up to the date. I don't know if this counts as stood up, but he showed up to the date. They're having a good time. Uh, he buys her drinks, buys food or whatever. She goes to the bathroom or comes out. He gone. All right. But he paid for everything before he left. He just didn't tell her that he was leaving. But she was like, oh, I thought we were having such a great time. And she put it on TikTok. Now, first of all, I would be too embarrassed to even post that shit. To show the yeah. world. <laughs> what? To show the world. Yeah, yeah. like that. But no, like, I thought that was the funniest shit ever, bro. I'm, like, like I don't know. What do y'all think about Is that fucked up? Is that bad? He's yeah, a good person. I mean, he's kind of a good person. He could have just left. <laughs> yeah. He, he left. He, he had a complete was... opportunity to leave mm. and not pay for shit. And he paid for everything. And he, he paid for everything. Watch you through the bathroom. Yeah, fuck it. Ali, how would you feel if, that, if you were on a date and you went to the restroom and then a guy just paid for everything and then left, didn't tell you nothing? Would that be, how would you feel? I mean, yeah. I feel some type of way. <laughs> yeah, sure. no. I feel you have to look. I feel like you have to look inward. Yeah, like maybe it was your fault. Yeah, because he did everything right. Women do not self reflect. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't you dare. No, no. But some, it could have been me. Some guys just don't know how to communicate their feelings. They just. I feel like that's very I feel like he communicated His feelings very well <laughs> Yeah I don't like it I guess that is a clear message I feel like that was perfect yeah. That is a clear message Y'all ever seen that shit on YouTube Where like they put people in like Right in front of each other What they gotta press The button. button Press the, the button. button Oh yeah. That shit yeah. They, they, block, yeah, they blindfold That shit yeah. right. so, so what Cam's yeah. talking about that They have like They have a, they have oh a my blindfold God. That shit is That's what happened But in real life They've been That's what they did They have a Talking to this part my They have a hit my face with the Yeah that's why I slapped it earlier I was looking for They have a So what Cam's talking about They have a blindfolded date show Can anybody look up the name, but I don't remember. Oh, but, um, but on stage. Oh, oh, and, and basically, on stage? yeah, the premise of the show yeah. is there's two people set up on a date and they're blindfolded. You have to talk to each other, and uh, and when you're not interested anymore, then you press it to be like not interested, right? I don't know. I, I haven't yeah. seen it. I've yeah. seen like clips of it. Yeah, from the you gotta beat the other person. That's the funniest what you, what you, shit. Wait, ever. what do you mean you gotta beat them? It's a race. Like if they don't like you, and you don't like them. You gotta press that bitch fast as fuck. Oh, I thought you like, supposed to fall in love, like not press it. I thought the. I goal. mean that's the game plan, but if you if you sitting across from like a what what you perceive as an ugly bitch, mm. I was gonna. Say but you blindfolded, like, but you wouldn't know. Nah, some of them, some of them you could see them. <laughs> oh, I never. <laughs> so, I've only seen them blindfolded. Somebody's so ugly you can see through the blindfold. No, no, it's crazy. I don't see no one. I don't see the one where you can like look at them like this is not who I like. Oh. Oh, you wow. talk to them to that day. Cause what they do is you let them talk to each other for a minute, let them become friends a little bit. Then the the, the button turns red. Mm. Oh yeah, and then you can right, press yeah. the button. Mm. But like that'll hurt my feelings if, if I'm sitting there button, talking man. to somebody and we having a good <laughs> little conversation. Good yeah, and she just press the I might slap a bitch. I, <laughs> I might just punch her. I only hit women. I know Yo, that's crazy. Bye. Yo, I, so um, uh, I know the funniest shit uh, uh, that the clip I did see about that show. There was this one Asian dude or whatever, right? Yeah. And you can't see. All right, so you can't see the people that you're looking at. But the way that he was getting around it, right? He was asking girls to hug them. He was like, "Can I give you a she hug?" Give you a hug. And <laughs> then he was <laughs> he girl. how big they he were. Girl and and he was slick, bro. Like we all saw that. <laughs> that that was the funniest shot I've ever seen, bro. I'm we sorry. We all saw that. Bro. I'm sorry. It was one of them. It was one of them. It was uh the girl was like, we should kiss. Mm. And dude was like, all right. And the girl was kind of a little heavier set on the heavy head. And they kissed. And then they said, all right, take the blindfolds off. And his face was just like. <gasps> What did I just like, do? Got what did like, you like, just got bamboozled. got me, dog. <laughs> Niggas that got shit was hilarious. That's my uh, favorite word. A, a bamboozle? Yeah, yeah. This nigga. I love one big word a week. <laughs> <laughs> I like to put it in my mind's hand. <laughs> Put it in your arsenal. Yeah, Throw it in yeah. back. Lexicon for real. Oh That's my a good word. I like that. It's next week's word. Lexicon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got a good lexicon coming up. That's insane, bro. I don't know. If I was on a date and a girl, like, I went to the bathroom and a girl just paid for that shit and left. I wouldn't feel kind of mad. So, I would be like, so I'd be like, turn yeah, up. So I'd be like, that's kind of cool. I just eat for free. Yeah, dead ass. I don't know. I would. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. I mean, like, <laughs> it's how you got to look at it. Because I also going to look at it. You're going to look at it like, oh, I'm a piece of shit. Mm. And then what? And then you just down. Nah, I'm going to be like, oh, she just wanted to take a nice, handsome man out to dinner. That's and what I'm saying. That's how you got to talk to him again. That's how you got to talk to him again. That's how you got to talk to This is what I deserve. This is Tuesday, nigga. This ain't. It's not that video at Trey Rags where he's like in that red shirt. Oh, my God. Oh man! Oh yeah, <laughs> like, that, like, that not right. yeah. I gotta put that drop in here, man. Uh, so um, all right, we're on the same topic. I might as well stay here. This is a dumbass story I saw on Twitter. Uh, which the reason that I bring it up is because I don't know. Depending on who it is, I might go to the same thing. There was one girl. Uh, she didn't have a car, right? So she rented a U-Haul to go to the dick appointment. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, that's. <laughs> That's equipment. That's smart. That's commitment right there. That, that's ingenuity. Yeah. That's Yo, smart. Bro, renting a U-Haul, nigga. I tried to rent a U-Haul to move in. I was like, bro, they charge per mile after after a certain amount of miles. Should we get an Uber? 
Nigga, I know. Yeah, why do you think of that? She, why she, 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 she was trying to hook up, though. Hey, yeah. Think about she, it. Was, she was going through. horrible. You haul sex, that nigga. nigga. That nigga. nigga. You, you, you haul sex? Nigga. That's a nigga. That's fire. Nigga. That's fire. You got a ring. That's fire. You, that's that's fire. you, put, that's little, you put some confidence down that motherfucker, some pillow on Quit, no. What? You good? You set up a little projector TV or whatever. Yeah, that's fire. Bro. Yeah. Bro, you know what's that's crazy? That's fire, you know what's crazy? I, I bet, I bet. You can say, if you set it up nice enough, put a little tapestry in there, milk women would love that. 100%. Black women would never trust a date in the back of a U-Haul. White women would what? love that this shit. This is so bro. beautiful. Look I'm at that ambiance. Put a put a live love laugh right there. I guarantee you, you get a white uh, you nigga. It's over. That's the easiest one. <laughs> it's the wings. <laughs> so you take a picture for the Instagram. <laughs> That's bro, U-Haul sex is funny as hell. I think bro. that's hard. I think that's a good idea. That bitch smart. I like that bitch. She good. She oh good. Oh my god! Shout out to her, man. Shout, Shout out to her, her commitment. It's probably she been in a hotel too. A hundred percent. Oh yeah, they gotta be with you. Been yeah, you gotta think about that. That's not. That's a good. That's a good investment. <laughs> and you get to keep it for a couple days. You know yeah, what I mean? Look, you can go on. You get to go anywhere too. Yeah. You can really road trip you sex. Like. You yeah. know what I mean? I uh-huh. seen some. I think some girl did the same thing, but she was like going to the club with her friends in it. <laughs> yeah, like a party bus. Like a party, yeah, like bus. A party bus, like the most ghetto party bus. They installed, they installed a uh, one of them brought their stripper pole from their living room. Just put that bit in the U-Haul. <laughs> and that bitch trying to stand up in the ass, driving the shit. They moving all over the place. Why you turning so hard, man? <laughs> hey, stop all that shit, man. Go home, ease on them corners, nigga. Oh my gosh, man. Ah. Uh, you guys here, uh, so this was, I don't know how to feel about this. Rush Hour 4. All right, Jackie Chan announced that they were doing a Rush Hour 4. Mm-hmm. I, I love the Rush Hour trilogy, okay? I think it was a classic. 2022 and all these remakes and shit coming out, I don't know how I feel about it, bro. I'm glad that they're Did rebooting y'all it. Rush Hour? I'm, oh, definitely. I Hell yeah. it's hard. I'm Honestly. glad they're rebooting it and not re- remaking or they're yeah. remake, They're making nah, a sequel and not point. rebooting it. Like, if they yeah. did it with... It wouldn't be funny if they rebooted it or, like, remade it, I guess. I what are you going to say, Ali? Yeah, I think the fourth movie is going to be great. To be honest, yeah, I'm not I don't think they're gonna be too clean with it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, now that's what I would want. Like, I need the same racist energy. Right. I need, I need Carter. Um, ta, pa, pa, ka, ka, pa. Like that nigga, bro. First of all, that nigga was in in Hong Kong talking about LAPD. Nigga, nobody knows. <laughs> nobody knows what that yeah. means, bro. The, the really? first Rush Hour movie is so funny, bro. Nobody oh knows what that means, bro. <laughs> That is yeah. so funny. He said ten million dollars. What do you think you got, Chelsea Clinton? <laughs> Bro, I, I I really 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 want them to do this movie right. I don't want them to rush this. I bring that up like if it's gonna come out, bro. You did there. Don't rush. You know what? I'm nice. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm nice. I'm nice. I'm nice. That was hard. That was hard. <laughs> Just don't rush. I need it. I need it to be well executed, man. I want it to be mm-hmm. good, bro. Because if I. I the worst thing is I hate when they ruin shit that we used to love, bro. Yeah. Like yeah. this was a movie, like Rush Hour was a movie. That I'm just like, no, this is one of the greatest comedy trilogies ever. Like I would, that's a movie that you could dream to write on or be on or act in or some and, shit like that, you know. And that's the thing. I feel like Chris Tucker wouldn't let it fall. What like, do you mean? He wouldn't let it be too clean. Mm. I don't think. He I would. feel like they should do it like Avengers Endgame and like get as many buddy cop actors in it as possible like get Arnold Schwarzenegger you yeah. get, and then get like Ed, you know Eddie Murphy that's an interesting in that perspective get like oh, Beverly yeah. Hills cop in that bit you yeah. know I thought you started with all this and didn't mention Ice Cube and Kevin Hart I there think that go. would be the funniest you get way to tie get, it in yeah, that's sure. in LA too right I'm pretty sure I don't know they were LAPD bro just hey, like, uh, what them niggas old who Jackie Chan is like 75. Yeah, no they way. Gonna, not, they can't. Yeah. They go old as hell. Action like, scenes are going to be horrible. <laughs> Somebody going to break a bone. As soon no, as no, no, I think Jackie right. Chan Nah, bro. It. Jackie Chan was in a movie. We got to start double Jackie now. Jackie Chan was in a movie called, oh, what's that shit called? It's called like The Foreigner or The Fucking, yeah. The, the Tourist his, or some shit like that. His son, Honestly, son, I didn't even know he yeah, was that yeah, old. Yes, his daughter. Man, he's like, it's, it's like Taken by Jackie oh. Chan. And that bit was five, bro. He was doing his own stunts and that shit. He was killing That means he's fragile. That means this movie, he's going to Bro, nah, he's fine, yeah, he, bro. He, he do, he, he do. He always, bro. He's Jackie old. Chan's for the show. He, he might, he might hurt himself on the motherfucker. Yeah. He always hurts himself. I feel like that's he's the sixty-eight. Uh, wow. Okay, so he's not. Old. All right, okay, wow. I give him, him seventy-five. Oh, I'm sorry. Chris Tucker's like in his fifties, maybe forties, something like 50, that. Fifties, really? I don't know. Hey, Chris Tucker, like the about Chris Joe Biden, like in his like seventy-four, like a ninety-three, huh? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't believe that like, Jackie Chan is that old, bro. I used to love. Y'all remember his cartoon? Jackie Chan that was on. That I was on. It, you, it was on what Disney or something? Oh, earlier? That was on Kids WB. That bit was. Uh, I'm 24. I'm 24. 
23. How old are you, Cam? Okay, maybe I just didn't watch the same show. How yo? How old are you? 23. Okay, oh, yeah, you didn't I see it was on, I it was on like right, Saturday right. morning cartoons. You 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 was doing some other shit, nigga. You I'm like, outside. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. You need you need one outside friend. What are they doing over there? All right, I'll be over here. What, listen, what, 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 whatever you do, I'll, I'll boot the game up. Tsunami <laughs> coming on in the morning on Saturday anyway. <laughs> Bro, that shit was so fire. But yeah. it was like the talismans and shit. Yeah. That shit was so wrong. <laughs> Listen, uh, just do it right by this movie. That's all I'll say. And I'll close the chapter on it. Uh, I, before we even get off Jackie Chan, I, I did the weirdest shit ever. I saw this Bruce Lee magazine and Dollar General the other day, and I just bought it. How much was shit hard? That's Bro, cool. it, was like, it was like a dollar and 30 cents. I, I, I just looked. Speaking of Jackie Chan, <laughs> it's it's a different, a different <laughs> <Asian> <laughs> <people>. <laughs> Right. Wait, what? Boy, you racist. Totally That's what? funny as shit. This hard though, bro. I was looking through that bit, bro. First of all, I didn't know this nigga lived like this nigga died in like the 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 seventies, sixties, bro. Yeah. How do we know this nigga's name? She we were born. A- I was born in ninety eight, <laughs> and I'm thinking, I was like, oh, Bruce Lee's the best fighter ever. I've never seen this nigga ever. He you ever seen like, any of his movies, bro? He was like a pioneer. The, yeah. And, you didn't watch Enter the Dragon. It's hard, I did, I did, but like I I thought that like when I watched those movies, nigga, we were born in ninety. Yeah, I'm watching these movies in like 2007, 2008, maybe uh, later on. I'm like, oh, this, was the, like the this was the 80s. This was the 90s at the latest or something like that. I don't know. It's just crazy. Yeah, yeah. Dragon was in the 70s. I could be worth some money in a, in a minute. I don't think so. It was a dollar thirty at Dollar General. Tell you, I'm telling you, man. Like, anything they sell at Dollar General is not gonna be worth. That look, that look like it's in good condition. Is it just him? Mm-hmm. Yeah, in this magazine, yeah, it says like his story and stuff wrong. like that. It's hard, right? Yeah, that, I could have been a fighter if I. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Until 2056, I bet money right? that worth the good hundred dollars. He was in the Green Hornet. They, they, did, they did the remake of the Green Hornet with. Uh, they did the remake of the Green Hornet with Jet Li. Mm, but Bruce Lee was the original. Yeah, I used to like. You remember War of the Nations? Did y'all have that uh, in like? Uh, I don't know, it's like a festival and shit that, that they would put here, War of the Nations. When we were uh, growing up, you go probably, on field trips. Yeah, probably. It's a bunch of like cultures and shit, like a field trip or whatever. Uh, they used to have a bunch of martial arts and stuff like that. I used to want to be them, bro. You used to want to be a martial artist? I used to, yeah, I used to want to do all that shit, bro. I did martial arts when I was a kid. Were you good at it? Nah, it wasn't really martial arts. What was it? It was like a daycare. They had like a nigga there in a fucking taekwondo suit. Nigga, this was a Royal Rumble. Nigga, this, yeah. was, this was illegal. He just, he just made us fight each other, do push ups and shit. He this, said nothing. This was illegal. <laughs> he did that shit. I ain't remember nothing from that place. All I remember is like we would get there, they'd be like, y'all ready to go? And yeah, we just fucking kind of just fuck each other up. And yeah. these niggas would just sit and watch and be like, that was good. Nice. Good that job. Good. Next time, slip the jab. Like, like, teach us no rules, no nothing. I don't know nothing about karate. No, neither do I. But I, I was just Blood watching sport. on TV thinking it was fire. All that shit. Um, what else do I got, man? Oh, uh, I saw this uh, other cool thing. It was like a social experiment. Uh, and it was like, like, and it made me think of like my childhood. I don't know. I was, I wasn't saying I was, I was a bad kid. But I was definitely a little rowdy. You know, I was, I was making, tr- causing trouble and shit like that. And if I didn't have my parents around me, for a little, like somebody around me for a little minute, I might have stepped out of line once or twice. But the social experiment was like, uh, and I'll put the the link here. It was a house. It was like ten boys and like ten girls unsupervised for like a week. You know what I mean? They were allowed to do that. Yeah, it was, it was an experiment. That I, it was like actually, it was like produced on some documentary Kids. channel, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'll put the link in here. I swear to God, I will. I say that sometimes and forget. Um, Logan, hold me accountable. I but, got you. But okay. it was exactly How would y'all expect That experiment to me, me telling you like that and, and, and setting it up You got 10 boys in the house Unsupervised for a week how And then old? 10 girls They're like 12 years old 12, 11 Isn't that the start of puberty? Oh, That's scary kids fucking. <laughs> Nigga They were all white let me, let me change this They were all white kids And they're out in the house together? Yes How long? It was a week, and it was just boys by themselves, and then girls by themselves. But they didn't put they they didn't mix. No, that's what I'm saying. Like like the boys had their house. Oh, and it was like oh. okay, it was so oh, okay, they okay. Did, okay. Did, I, did I say it wrong? They didn't okay. mix. Okay. I, 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 I thought you said they like intermingled. They just left ten boys. Get your mind out the gutter. Ah, for the sake of your mind out the gutter, you didn't. Ah, for the sake of your mind out the gutter, you for the incriminate niggas for no reason. Chill out. This side of the room is kind of wall. Nigga, you just said ten boys, ten girls, little kids, they in a room together. <laughs> that was just it. They ain't ruling the camera. I'm like, these kids is fucking. <laughs> There's no way they ain't that bitch talking about math problems and equations and shit. They're not doing that. That wasn't the setup, man. Yeah, nah, you're right, you're right. No, nah, it was great. It was great. Because I'm watching this shit and I'm like, oh, okay. Because uh, I used to be a summer camp kid. Like, I, I was, I literally was in charge, like, watching kids and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, it can't be that bad. This shit was crazy. Like, uh, like the kids was, like, the second, like, the second day, 
all the boys had the walls covered in black marker and shit <laughs> like that. And by the fourth day, none of them niggas cooked them. Like, all of them took a cooking class before the experiment. None of them cooked shit. All the boys ate was cereal and, and milk and candy <laughs> for, for, like, five days, bro. And the, the nigga in the commentator was like, someone should help them. I'm like, stop the experiment. <laughs> Go to the house. What are you trying to learn? <laughs> bro, literally, the people on the camera are like, they haven't had a meal in, in like four or five days. And they're just sitting behind there, not doing anything. Niggas start eating crayons and shit. <laughs> right. This black one, my favorite. Bro, all, all the boys look like goddamn uh, the, the Malcolm in the Middle kids, bro. All of them were so bad. Oh, oh please, please. I swear to God, the link is in the description yeah, right now. Funny, funny video, bro. Honestly, you know what? Matter of fact. Wait, so. Um, I can, I can honestly, we can take a break. And I can let y'all watch this shit. Please. We come back. Back in pie. Well, y'all, y'all wanna? Yeah, we, sure, all right, yeah. cool. we at what thirty six? And they were like, oh, "Have fun, kids." All right, audience, we are back. Okay, um, everyone has seen the video that I was just talking about the boys versus the girls experiment. Uh, who would like to give their thoughts first? I already said what I felt about it. Well, which one of y'all wanna? I mean, I'm not surprised. You're not surprised? All right. No, not surprised. No. Nah, no. Okay, you're okay. nah. What? That's disrespectful. <laughs> no shot. Women are always the ones that get to cl- have to clean up the house, clean up everything. Wow. They gave the girls scooters. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. Had, First of all, the, the men didn't have shit in the house. <laughs> they, they, they put the them boys, in the, the boys, in the house, They put them boys in a bando. <laughs> <laughs> bro, <laughs> if you nothing. gave me a cricket stick, I wouldn't know what to do with it. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Somebody I was, get beat with it. Beat with it. <laughs> 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 So we walked through the door and hit somebody with a cricket stick. They, they gave the girls a happy. They got Bob Ross uh, in the background. Right, all the happy vibe. Nah, they, no they, had, they had everything they needed. The you can't they, convince me that the, the, the guys had the same stuff in their house. You literally no can't. Way. No I, way. I think the reason, like, first of all, the boys lost their minds at the end of the experiment. If you didn't go watch <laughs> the video, the boys, lo- they trashed the whole damn house. All right. Uh, and... The girls, you know, they, they had a chore. They ended up making chore lists for everybody to do. They were making meals. They ain't make that meal. The they make that meal. Yeah. If they made that meal, somebody got salmonella. That's what I'm saying, bro. Somebody no got salmonella. Shot. Ten year old nah, making meals like that. Oh, yeah, I'm glad you said salmonella, bro. I, you know I'm a you know I'm a, a server, right? First. So I, I work in a restaurant called Char House, and uh, yeah, the conversation with the kids is close. I work in a restaurant called Char House, right? Mm. And one of our specialties is seafood, and we sell salmon, right? So many black people come in, or let me get the black and blue salmon, and then I'd be like, okay, do how do you say? It? Do you do you order? It? What salmon? Do you say salmon or salmon? Do y'all say salmon it's or salmon? salmon. Do you bro, correct people? Salmon. It, bro, it was always salmon until like eight thirty p.m. and then, mm. it was, then it became salmon. <laughs> salmon. Yeah, what do you that's mean? how quickly. Niggas just be calling it sal- salmon, bro. Yeah. I don't understand why. I don't get it. I mean, it is spelled that when way. I, when, right. when I worked at a restaurant, I always observed that black people come into the restaurant late. Like, mm. Black people come in, they, they go out late. Like, I was a valet first and I was a server. Yeah. Like, at both times, like, black people, if it's a restaurant and it closes at 11, black people start coming at 8.30. Mm. White people go in from, like, if it opens at 5, they'll be there that bitch from 5 to 9. And the 8.30 to motherfucking 11, it's just niggas, niggas, niggas the whole way. Black yeah. people the whole way. And I don't know why I don't, I don't miss cooking in restaurants. I don't know, like uh, like them kids were cooking and shit like that. First of all, the the, the boys didn't make any fucking meals. Uh, they ate cereal. I don't I don't. Believe I told y'all they ate. I don't cereal believe they had groceries. The whole time. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, gave they, gave they gave the girls the whole fucking. They didn't have groceries. I don't think they had groceries. <laughs> now that I'm watching the video, I that was so green oh, though. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro! I don't believe that was crazy. I it was, was stressed. They looked strung out. Yeah, <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. <laughs> How do you think those kids are today? I don't know how long ago that was. They crack kids, man. It wasn't in HD, so it didn't seem like it was filmed yesterday. But they definitely are like mentally ill for sure. That like traumatized. That fucks fucks you up, though. Really? Five days. Five days. You only drink. You only drink fucking. (laughs) Uh, Coca Cola, bro. Why, bro? Why? Like, I, I, my coach, uh, I went back in high school. She was the first example of it. Like, they love goddamn Diet Coke, bro. That's all they drink. A DC. Mm. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. kind of I don't like diet cokes, but yeah, white girls crazy. love diet coke, bro. Go crazy for that shit. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. That shit just tastes like coke with no flavor. Yeah, diet coke taste has like a weird like. It got a weird taste like in the back end, bro. It's like you sip it, and you're like, oh, this coke. Yeah, mm-hmm. like they just took the rest of it out. <laughs> right. Yeah, they, they, took took the, they took the last of the, the, the yeah. syllable out of that. The last of the will but need that. That's some coke. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. They took the K out though. <laughs> That's not there no more. That bitch ain't cool. <laughs> yeah, nah. They they had the little boys fucked up. Yeah, that's so green. 
That's what I'm saying. That's propaganda, bro. That that's the shit they were showing. They were showing the Nazis that shit, bro. Nah, that's some, yeah. some propaganda, bro. <laughs> that's not real. What? Bro. There was an agenda behind that, bro. There was an agenda. They, they were trying to. to they were trying to get. Uh, it wasn't a fair that. experiment. You're saying no, 100%. bro. No shot. I don't believe it. Mm. All right. Listen, we got to recreate this is all that means. If y'all got kids out there, all right, uh, us four here on the Writer's Block podcast are going to set up a think a folk, a group. <laughs> Ooh, a you know? That can be tired. Nobody can. You know, for the kids to be on air asking for other these kids. I'm not Michael Jackson. No, what? Hey, you got your kids. Kelly. Like, hey, look, You're not gonna you got kids. kids. We like your kids. Bring your kid. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you got a kid? Bring your fucking kid. Bring him to the chart house parking lot. <laughs> Ask for Bobby Brown, I'm going to come outside. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not co-signing that. Y'all don't want us, to, to, no, don't want us to, to, to show your kids how to toughen it up in life, man? No, no I'm not you experimenting can't. with any kids. We got to teach the youth. No. We, we, we are now, but we're transitioning from the youth well, to the, 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 the people who got to mentor the youth right now. We man, getting older, guys. Well, my luck, man. One of them kids going to die. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, one of them kids eat some drywall. Hey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> natural <laughs> selection. That's what it is. No, bro. <laughs> Nah. I'm surprised one of them little boys ain't that. <laughs> that's, that's what surprised me. Like five kids when they Yo, first of all, we only watched like four minutes of the clip. Them. We don't know. We don't know. No, they went outside. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, when, unless, unless one of them was faked. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like one of them died. They were like, we'll send them out there with his boys so we can make the show look good. We made it close. For sure. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Cam! What you got going on, brother? What, what, what's uh, what's coming up in you and your your what you your career comedy? Oh, right now I'm just trying to do a minute. Don't tell comedy show as I can. Yeah, I haven't done a don't tell yet, bro. Those really? they they no, not at all. There's uh, one in Jacksonville, but uh, the Booker. You know, we'll see. How about that? How that yeah. goes. Yeah, um, talk to me at the show. I got you. I got you. We'll go. You, 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 you like yeah. traveling? Hmm? You travel? Nigga, that is what I'm trying. Nigga, I'm literally about to be homeless to travel and do stand-up comedy. I got you. By the way, Allie, um, real quick, I, I have a clause in all my friendships that I'm reserved one week of couch time for the next year and a half. I just wanted you to know that, by the way. It's in your contract on the writer's block. Now that you're on the show. Uh, That's you good. Know. <laughs> Yeah, you can't come to my couch. I ain't got yeah. one. <laughs> it's fine. No worries. No worries. If I did, though, I mean, you come to the city. You know what I'm saying? She got a yeah. couch. She, you can run a U-Haul. <laughs> we gonna be, we gonna be right up there. <laughs> Run you all shit. That was good. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't hear that. I didn't that's hear that hard. until that, bro. That was nice. <laughs> that's hard. That was nice. That was nice. Um, but no, nah, like that's what I'm trying to get into next, bro. I've never been nowhere, and I'm trying to go everywhere for comedy, bro. Like Big. TV, acting, bro, all this shit. And I think I got like dead ass, bro. Like after that show that I just did, bro. I think I definitely got one of the one of the funniest ass five minute, ten minute sets in this city for sure that people need to hear about. You know, to get all out right, and man. start working at other crowds. I and agree. what I learned. Thank you, I appreciate that. And what I learned from talking to like preacher, even he was like, uh, "I'm talking to him." He was asking me like the crowd's like, "Yeah," but like for some weird reason, like like my I do a lot better when I leave Jacksonville. Like people laugh at my lines harder when I'm not in here. I don't know what's going on. And then because I'm thinking that like it's supposed to be um, like like this is supposed to be easy, and then it's harder when you go places and work it. But when I go out there and I do good on the show, I'm like, what the fuck? Like people are fuck, you know what I mean? But apparently, according to like him, he was like, nah, man, this is a place where people make you work. Like you know what I mean? This is a place you want to be in to like you know you got to actually make. If you if you try to build your set in a place where everybody funny all the time, then you know you're just gonna be expecting laughs and shit. You know, so that gave me a whole new perspective because I'm thinking I'm not doing uh, uh, enough here, and it's just kind of the opposite. Anyway. Now, Hard that so you I'm change, trying to travel. You change the whole set and it and it killed. That's good. Bro. Yeah, I had to. I couldn't imagine how to do that. You having to do a clean set. What? My run. From oh, clean I set. did see. I did see. Wow. Okay. 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 I forgot about. Uh, uh, I see a couple of your jokes. I'm trying to see if I think you. I can think you might be able to tweak it. I can tweak like three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> that, yo, <laughs> that was my thought. At first, I was like, okay, I got like four minutes I could do, and then I'll get out. Tight. Yeah. It was like, because usually you get a tight five, quote unquote, as a guest spot. Um, but I ended up doing like an actual like nine minutes of just clean stuff, you know what I mean? And my head, though, it almost slipped out. I was like, oh, no. Nah, and that's what I would have to do. <laughs> yeah. I would have to get people up. I, I think the best way for me to do clean would I be like, hey, listen, I can't cuss up here. I can't say no word, but I'm going to change a couple words around. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna change the N word to Nick and Poop or some shit like that. Nick and Poop, nigga. I've never heard a nigga say Nick and Poop in so long, bro. These motherfucking Nick and Poops, bro. So who, you got little, you got your little siblings or little cousins or something, bro. Nah. Is, I ain't got a little cousin, but she don't be around right like that. Oh my god, man. <laughs> but nah, I want to do some shit like that. But like I'm saying, you inspire me, bro. Like, uh, like you going right. out to Ohio and like doing them shows and shit like that. Like that's why I'm I'm so encouraged and not down on myself at all for for literally just moving out. 
out of this place and focusing on doing more stuff like that because that's what I want to do. I think I that's the goal, bro. You know? And this shit, bro, we really got to... We really got to uh, get out of our cities. When, when, once you get out to a city, it's like a, uh, it's like a, when you come back, they love you more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like this I is true. To, this is very I true. I try to stay out of Atlanta as much as possible because I'm, I'm there a lot. Like, like motherfuckers who I went to school with and shit like that be like, well, I want to come to a show. I ain't in town like that, bro. Mm. And when I was in town, niggas weren't trying to come for real. That's what, bro, nigga, that's what we were just talking oh, about the River City show. Yeah. Like, I said, you know, I get it, I get it. Shit come up, you know what I mean? But eventually, I, I now at this point, I don't expect the people I send it to to show but up anymore because I've learned. At one point in your life, when we get like really big at this shit, everybody gonna wanna come. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. it's like, damn, like you could have had free tickets. And I'm gonna have a new number, saying? bitch. I have. You could have came and <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, you could have really had. Yeah. Shit. But it's like, damn, now you yeah. wanna see when everybody You gotta get niggas to buy in. Yeah, niggas. Yeah. Most people are followers. Shout out to the niggas who already fucking with it, though, man. This is episode 82, goddamn. Episode 82. For sure. And without y'all, it wouldn't be nowhere, goddamn it. So we thank y'all. We love y'all. We appreciate Appreciate y'all. Fuck with a nigga. That's hard, dude. Especially because you got you already got your shit going. But yeah, yeah, man. It, it was uh, it was weird. It was it was rocky. A lot of shift and changes for a little minute. But you know, that's um, life, dude. Uh, now you just gotta like I learned like like life is just chaos, bro. That's just how like, how the game is. You just gotta do. You gotta maneuver through that. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like Logan, what you got coming up? You working in music shifting, and uh, I'm going to LA for comedy uh, reasons. But you know, I'm going to LA for work. I'll probably hey, be there at the same time. Hey, okay. okay. I mean, yeah, not for music work, just work. But I'll probably be there around the same time. So if you're in LA, I'll, we we should link for sure. You never know who you're gonna run into though. You might run into the fucking. I might. Shit. Yeah, I don't know. I'm. I'm. If when I'm there, I'm. I'm gonna be trying to do as much uh, both as possible. Like okay, I'm trying to be. Go out. Yeah, that's pretty much all I do. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm hoping that you know I'll be out there. I'll be trying to. I won't have CDs, but I mean I'll probably be posting. I'll probably make stickers with QR codes and shit. That'd be dope. Dude, that I got a guy. Dope. I'm trying to get some everywhere. I'm trying to get a logo made right now. I'm waiting for the dude to hit me back. Uh, I have some ideas on like the direction that we're moving in uh, for like YouTube and shit like that. Okay. Um, but like, even you talk about music and stuff, man. Um, you know, 2023 we're back to having some some musical guests and stuff like that too. So I got comedians on the show and shit like that as well. But you know, the city does show a lot of love to comedy. Uh, I mean, a lot of love to music. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. that's what yeah, I meant to say. Music scene, yeah, man. big music. So, you know what I mean? I feel like um, a way for us to to broadcast what everybody could do. You know, we also tap into that also. You know what I mean? So, Comedy Zone stuff was cool. You know what I mean? But for 2023, you know, you got to get out there. You got to branch out and then see, like, how it should turn around, you know? It'll be all right. You got to put yourself out there. Allie, how are you? What are you doing? Good. What you got going on? Well, next year, I'm going to work on getting my master's. Hey. Oh, shit. What do you got? That's hard. What do you mean? Like in what degree? Um, like, uh, what do you do? I'm thinking mental health. Like, I got my master's in real, nigga. Okay. But you know what I'm, I'm still kind of thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Mental health counseling. Mental health counseling. Why you, you need that on. shit? No, I don't, nigga. You need told, that. You want to be one of them little nosy hoes, all up in everybody's well, business, man. talking about, oh, well, tell me, <laughs> tell me who did who did this to you? Like, no. Well, that's not told you. I can tell you they're in therapy because that's not the questions they ask. Specifically, you want therapy. Yeah, last year they go to therapy. That's crazy. What? Last year niggas go to therapy. I know. I've been telling them that shit. That's crazy, bro. I've been telling that shit. I just real. started going to therapy yeah, like, like weak. two weeks you ago. Broke. You broke, nigga. You, nah, you, you nah, nah. He strong. definitely not broke. You could stay strong. You broke inside. Like, oh, yeah. inside. Yeah, like, he, like he, he broke down. Special. He broke down. Nigga, not broken. Talk, nigga, you can talk to You can talk to us. We can talk. You yeah. can strip clothes. You, and talk I mean, you could power alley. You're, you're not wrong. Like, you're, y'all are not incorrect, but they, they, they know how to, like, get you to go. Into oh, yourself, deeper bro. places. Yeah, you gotta ask yourself the questions. We can go deeper. Man, they finna lock some shit you locked up in your memory when you was a little kid. Listen. Like that time you got molested when you were four, but you forgot it. Okay. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> that's, okay. like, that's not funny, but that is, <laughs> like, she like that shit I'm away. just waiting on the day, man. We see it all the time. All right, these billionaires leak everybody data. These therapists gonna leak all y'all trauma one day. <laughs> it's gonna be a database. It's, it's, it's gonna be a database. They can't do that, it's nigga. Bad. They break up people. Break the billionaires break the law every day. You think that true. matters, true, bro? Man, it's it. gonna be a database of all y'all, what? all y'all therapy sessions gonna come out, and I'm gonna be on the internet waiting and reading, bro. What are they gonna, okay. Okay. I'm scrolling. Just go to the beach. You know what I'm saying? Just go to the beach. We're gonna get you to talk to the mic too. We got cameras running the show, guys. You gonna learn? Just go to the beach and just you know what I'm saying. Just look at the sunset and just yell into the fucking ocean. Hey. Yeah, everything mm-hmm. you've done. I heard, I've seen so many murders. Just be like, I killed so and so this day. And they walked from the beach and it was all over. <laughs> it was gone. They it were, was gone. That's <laughs> therapy. They weren't even dead anymore. Mm-hmm. That's therapy. That's, that's therapy. Bro. That's free therapy. 
Uh, I don't know, man. I fought with therapy. Congratulations on getting your master's. Congratulations. All right, obviously, Not I'm to, joking. You know, half the room calls your shit bullshit. No, but, you know, right. I'm joking. It's, you know, we're fucking half around. Half the room said they don't need it. It's, but, you know. Listen, I think you might be the reason I try it when I'm 50. You know? Yeah. So, 50? I might need it now, but I'm not going to get it. It'll be too late for your ass. You're going to be too far gone. You keep going with that. You keep You keep going with that. When we're 50. We gonna be right in that room. <laughs> I got you. You gonna take some some horrible shit. That pick will be so bad. <laughs> gonna be, gonna be that guy killed in twenty six. Congratulations on that. That's big though. That's big, man. Yeah, you know, uh, I think. Um, I don't know, <coughs> Logan. Uh, you graduated already, right? You got yes, sir. Hell yeah! Congratulations bachelor's to you. Bachelor's degree. I'm not Congratulations. Hey, yeah. Yeah. I think that's maybe still, one that's day. Fine, you know, Damn, you, know? you went to college too. I went. Okay, cool. For, 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 you know, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. I, you know what's crazy? Man. I, I, drop out college, bro, Come on, you, man. you know what's crazy? I went to college for all the shit that people do not go to college for, bro. Like, I wanted to go for other shit, but I ended up going to college, and I just took... I was at a, I went to community college. I just took creative improv. Like, like I went to college to just not take serious classes. Yeah, you could have yeah. turned, turned YouTube on for that. You know what? You nah, should. nah. I'm, I'm, shout out to shout out Miss Christine. That's my lady, bro. I'm, I'm different because of that. Sport management. That's hard. That's good. That's all right. Now you try to manage me, so you know yeah, talent yeah, management. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, Roof. Okay. You know, if I didn't blow out my knee, I would have been one of the best hoopers of all time. Shit, I played. I played for Upward back in the day. <laughs> it's a church league out here. I was busting niggas' ass in the church. That's hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's hard. Mm-hmm. 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 I believe. It. I believe. It. I, believe it. I'm I can post a picture, bro. I, I, I was busting. You were on up. You were in Upward. That was true. What you average the game? Like like twenty five. You know, twenty five, eight, and seven, something like that. This life. <laughs> what? Is this I, a lie? Yeah, nah, nah. Allie, what if I ever lied to you? She breaking it down right now. She's already All getting right. it. Yeah, yeah, so she, right. You can't think of one. You ba- can't ba- think of one. Bobby, where did where does this come from? <laughs> what do you think a lot Where do these fabrications from come from? What, oh, what, <laughs> uh, before we got out of here, I do want to shed some lights. I saw an interesting thing. You were calling me fat earlier. I was at Waffle House like three days ago. And in this Waffle House, I had, uh, uh, there was, I was on this side, but there was like a dude sitting on the other side of the uh, uh, Waffle House, like maybe 2, 30, 3 in the morning. And uh, I'm just looking like a black dude, yellow shirt, drawn. You know, I'm listening to my set over there waiting for my food to be made, but I see him like scribbling something around. I get up, bro. Dude's like just... Like the best, he he's got pictures on his phone, and he's just freehand in the sketches, just with a pencil, accurate, looking beautiful, bro. I love people who can do shit like that. You know what I mean? Like people who can just like pull out a piece of. I wish I could draw. Like that's one of the things that I can't do. I can do everything else in the world, but like it was so dope. So I nigga probably uh, schizophrenic. That's the <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the dude I reached out to uh, <laughs> to, to work on this. <laughs> I reached out to him to help me make this new logo. <laughs> God damn it. That's what I'm getting at. Shout out to Aaron, man. Shout out to Schizophrenic. <laughs> schizophrenic Aaron, the artist. All right. Artistic, yeah, yeah. artistic, schizophrenic Aaron. Uh, go, go check out his art page That's on Instagram. Right. Aaron is art. Uh, he had some really, really dope stuff, man. So I wanted to bring that up because uh, I don't know, man. I, I always want, like, when I see people out in public doing their creative shit, it's fun. It's exciting because I used to start at Waffle House and writing scripts and little jokes and shit. So um, I don't know. Where you write at? You just, oh, you. I'm in my head, really. Nice, nice. Yeah, I try to put. They serve I food. Uh huh. Hmm? What? In my head. <laughs> Just go ahead. Now, I try to. I try to put that shit down on paper, but I don't spell real good, and I don't like. Yeah, that. I can tell you don't spell good from your Instagram <laughs> clips. <laughs> you, you always think of your kid. <laughs> if we pull up Cam Instagram right now, I t- somebody do it. We can end the episode with this. Somebody please pull up Cam Instagram. Let's, let's read his typos on his clips, y'all. Go watch. Go, go to Cam so funny. I don't watch even all double, his clips. I don't even double check. No, I just make sure the fonts look good. Yeah, I just be I like, yeah, it's good enough. Go to Cam so funny right now on your on your phones wherever you listen at Instagram, TikTok, That's whatever. Funny. Look yeah. at the clip. He be spelling so much shit wrong. <laughs> but you, I, 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 that's smart, though. You know, I, like, that's smart. I saw that apparently that was a strategy that people use. See? Mm-hmm. See? So I started doing that after I saw you. Yeah. I stopped spelling shit correctly. Yeah, it's genius. Like you found you on that page? I'm on this page right now, but I don't see no real typos see? like that. Um, let me see. Let me see. Yeah, look, Bobby right, just been looking hard as hell. Nah, we gonna. Find I don't want to incriminate this man. Be like, ah, ah there you go. <laughs> there go the one. There go the oh, right here. First of all, <laughs> go December the- 9th. Not good at simply math. Simple <laughs> math. I knew you meant simple. I knew you meant simple. <laughs> right. All, all Nobody the real. told me that shit, bro. Let me I see. Hope, it. Let me see. I hope it. Hope These shits be funny as hell, though. Nobody told me it was wrong. Okay. Ah, yeah. oh, this is funny. Listen, that man. might be the only one that I put. You told me people way. get more in, 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 in the captions, in the captions, like like in the actual videos. Yeah, but, but y'all, listen, go check out. You you post some funny ass shit. So bro. Are you telling me? Uh, yeah. You, so I, I, when I, when I saw Cam do it, dead ass, like this is not a joke. I I literally just went to go to YouTube and I was like, you know what, like. 
him spelling it wrong made me watch that clip. Like, like I, I before I even looked at him, I felt that you know, I was like, oh, I literally watched. Like, I, I would have watched it anyway because I fuck with you. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, it made me more like I'm like, oh shit, he spelled that wrong. So you're already engaged, and they're like the, the fucking phones know, bro. Like, you can look at it and they know, but then when you focus, they know, bro. Like, they they be like, oh, dude, we got this nigga eyes. Something in here. Am I crazy? No, I'm great. Yeah, whatever. Y'all look at me like I'm stupid. Whatever. Um, I know. Either I way, I'll definitely have conversations about something, and then. Two minutes later, I'll see it on Instagram. Mm-hmm. That's how it starts. I mean, yeah, that's, that's how it starts. Sure, that's how it starts. I'm trying to figure and out. Where it, but I'm saying, like, like when when you when you look like the engagement it. and shit like that. So when you look at something and you're like, oh, they spelled that shit wrong, and you're watching it longer, it, I don't, you know, you you looking at it spells more shit wrong. I looked it up on YouTube, and there's actually dudes say people do that as a strategy because when people are like, oh, this nigga can't spell, I'm gonna watch what else he spelled wrong. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> you know, so I started spelling shit wrong. Anyway. This guy, I'm yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Watching what this it really thing. is, you know, the, the app I use to edit my shit, what? it's a uh, cap cut, and I use uh, like uh, auto auto uh, what's mm-hmm. name? Yeah. So most of the time, like I talk with like gibberish. Mm. So Capcom don't know what the fuck I be saying. Yeah. So we'll just be trying to guess. Whatever. And yeah. I be trying to speed through and edit shit so fast. I'm like, that's how I'm about writing to me. Fuck it. And I just go. <laughs> this nigga. Um, I use captions, bro, but uh, they be fucking up sometimes too. Caption but I, I speak. Yeah. No, 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 no. Like the, the app. It's like a subscription app as well. So I like. Oh, no. How Cap- I make Cut, it. Get Capcut. That shit free. Mm. Mm. You know what? I might start it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll, you, talk, we'll, talk, we'll, talk, we'll talk. We'll talk. For, how much did you pay for captions? I mean, honestly, it's not bad. It's like seven ninety nine, and oh, it has a God. style. But it has a style that I like that oh. I want to do. It's different, you it's know. Garbage. It's, it's, some, it's <laughs> It's <laughs> seven ninety nine for a good style. Fuck you, you crazy. Just honestly, it, it's free. Honestly, it, it, I don't even post enough for to be using this shit like that no more. I, I used to post all the time, but um, I don't know, bro. I, I went through a phase of trying to figure that shit out. Um, either way, before are, nigga, are these Gucci flip flops? Yeah, my girlfriend got them from. Me. All right, all right, yeah, nigga, all right. Yeah, Shout out my girlfriend. I love so much. She great people. I hate niggas in love. What kind of shit is nah, that? Nah, serious. Nigga, I nigga hold you. Serious. you know that's pole where you where you hold your lady. No, nigga, you I don't. don't. You, I don't. I never had one. I let it. It should mind you. She you know that pose you be holding like. Yeah, yeah. That's how like, we're holding the way of getting these slides. Baby, I left my card at the house. And that bitch, that oh, bitch at the Gucci store. Her? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What you talking about? And the bitch at the Gucci store. So you want to get there? Bitch, swipe the card, bitch. <laughs> Stop asking questions. We yeah. can't afford it. That's this goddamn store, bitch. Oh my god. I don't want these bitches to the goddamn ground, dog. I want these bitches everywhere. That shit fire, bro. You the only nigga I know who be wearing slides on stage, bro. I wore I wore sweatpants, and bro, it was some comedians who was like, "Why aren't you wearing jeans? Uh, you need to be dressed up. Yeah, let you me, need to be blue." Let me tell you why I do it. Mm. So when I first started doing comedy, like, I ain't, I was coming in on some like I was I was in I was in the street nigga phase mm. that I wasn't really good at. But I would uh, I would I would have slides on. And I would have gun at me at all times, right? Mm. This besides, I'm gonna tell you that. But uh, hey, he got it now. If y'all want to pull up on us and you know try, what I'm saying fuck with us, you gonna mm-hmm. die. You know, like, you know what I'm saying, real shit. Hey, we got a problem with the podcast. Come kill my uncle about it, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Free my grandma, bitch. One <laughs> 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 of the funniest videos, bro, I've ever seen, dog. Come kill my uncle about it, pussy. And that nigga goes. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Kim. That was just that, that jumped in my fuck. brain, bro. That funny as fuck. This is, I like this shit a lot, bro. We gotta do this shit, bro. I want you here all the time, man, yeah. bro. Like I'm telling you, bro. I I love your work. I'm a fan of your work, bro. Like, like, like uh, bro. we 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 really got we 2023, bro. Just keep doing what you're doing. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. We, we meet in the middle. Going. Our shit gonna be out of here, bro. 100. Let me tell you before we leave. My bad. This, this oh, is that me? Oh no, no, it's my phone. I think. Oh. Bro, oh. oh, it's the children. My bad. My bad. <laughs> the bad oh, it's the like audio is still playing in the background. Oh, my, my bad. bad. My bad. My bad. The bad. fucking computer and shit. Huh? Yeah. What were you going about? What were you about to say, Cam? So, uh, my fuck. Yeah. So, uh, the older, the older guys when I first started doing comedy, when I would get on stage, they'd be like, "Man, why you got on slides?" And they would, they would talk shit about it. Like, mm-hmm. "Oh, you shouldn't wear slides. You shouldn't do that. That this and that." And, but I was getting laughs. Mm. So I was, and I was, I was brand new, so I didn't know what the fuck was going on. But I was like, "Okay, I guess I won't do it." And then I thought about it, I was like, well, I'm getting laughs when I'm in slides. Nigga, what does it really matter? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I'm yeah. like, well, now I'm going to do it to piss you niggas off. <laughs> and now I just, now I just like it. Now I just, yeah. I'm comfortable. I vote with it, bro. You got your own style. Like, I've been trying to, I told you, I've been working on my style, stepping some shit up. You yeah, know what I mean? But, um, I, don't, I wouldn't say shit every day. I don't really have a style. I just but I would, I would count this as, you, nigga, your, your bio says Mr. White T. Come on, now. Right? That, that that's literally in your bio. You got to define your style. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big part of it. <laughs> 
Uh, I think it's fresh though. I think it's fresh, man. Uh, but I don't know why they be bugging about it. Either way, it's cold now. It's so weird. It's old head shit, bro. Some it, old it, it, so niggas yeah, try to make rules for shit and ain't got no rules. Like, nigga, you you do yeah, you on the same show as me doing the same set as me at the same time. Not the same set. I'm better. Don't do the same set. But the same time, like like I'm blowing these niggas out the water. How the fuck you going? How you gonna tell me what to do? Like you in the same spot as me? He was like. If he, he was, was like, like Kevin Hart, yeah, Kevin Hart, like, hey, don't wear slides. Well, nah, Don yeah. DC Carey called me a country nigga. <laughs> Wait, so I will say shout that. Shout out to Don DC. Yeah, Uncle <laughs> Elroy called me a country nigga. Like, he okay. told that, so I got time to tell this. Yeah, nigga, we are here, I, nigga. Yeah, so, I, I, what up, what's so up? Me, me and my girl, we went to go watch him, we went to go watch him, right? Damn, I'm sorry, I just, you I'm good, not you good. We gonna listen, we gonna learn, we gonna we learn. So me and my girl went to go watch uh, <laughs> Don DC Carey at the Improv. Orlando? At Orlando Improv, yeah. So, uh, he had his feature going, I'm not gonna say the feature name and like that mm-hmm. nigga was dying on stage nigga was doing horrible and uh he supposed to do like i think he supposed to do like 30 minutes because uh dc care was late and so he got off at 15. it was that bad it was he was so bad All he was right. like i'm just gonna leave <laughs> and nigga was like nah, bro, keep going like yeah. he was like i can't do it i'm leaving so when i figured out he was leaving i just ran to the back and asked the manager i'm like hey y'all need somebody to fill some time I could do that. Hey, right on time. Really but good. I had slides on. And she mm. was like, you can get on stage as long as you find some damn shoes. Wow. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah. That's yeah. my lady. Mm. Chris, my lady. I, yeah. I, I love Chris, my lady. My auntie. So I was like, all right, Chris, I, I get some shoes. So my dog, Joe, shout out. Joseph is better. He working at Improv. He was just here for the River yeah. City show. Good people. Okay, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had some shoes, but he wore a size 12. So I had pretty big ass shoes on. Yeah, yeah. And went on stage, and I killed. It was great. Like one of my best days. I really enjoyed it. I went out there for like a hot six, seven minutes. It was uh. great. And then I get off stage and I uh they call me back up, I gotta stand no bass, and that's how it was. Hell it was, yeah. It was fire. It was that's fire. Yeah. That's fire. Obviously, Curry wasn't even up. So after he get like he he go up, they they bring him up, he go up, he come off stage, I ask my dog, say, hey, maybe I can go take a picture with him. And I'm like, yeah, no problem. And then the feature was like, and it's the guy that saved the show. He said, and he goes, Nigga, he ain't say the show, nigga. Oh. He saved you. Oh. <laughs> nigga, he ain't saved me, nigga. <laughs> he was smoking a cigar. And then he was like, this the guy that had the slides on. He said, nigga, why you wet? You cut your motherfucker. <laughs> who wears slides on stage? Yo. I'm like, no, I didn't have slides on stage. I just walked to the show. Who wears slides to a show? <laughs> you country, nigga. Oh What's wrong? God. You country, mother. He, told, he called me and cut my fucking like 12 times. And it was just so funny. And we was talking like for 10 minutes. And then he told me, he was like, yeah, man, you got to get some shoes and shit. You going to like a show, shit like that, right? Yeah. And then uh, like we were talking about Sunday for like 10 minutes. And I come back and I go, hey, man, if I leave, do you have any advice for like that can be the start now? And he was like, well, how much advice you want, nigga? I already told you, get some shoes, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, bro. Yo, that's funny right, as fuck, OG. bro. I appreciate you. That's funny as fuck, man. Yeah, I, I love it. Was, it was love. It was all love. It was so cool, man. It was, it was cool as shit. I love the, I love what we do, bro. Just meeting comedians, bro. Like like you never know when a nigga, when you are gonna have a cool ass just experience Not like that real. with some of the niggas, bro. Uh, shout out, like like and that's what you gotta put yourself on. Like you said, asking the manager, can you get on like that? Like that's how I kind of got on the comedy zone. Uh, Jess hilarious and her feature were late one yeah. day when they were here and wasn't nobody out there. It was sold out crowd i'm like all right well fuck it i'm gonna go fill time that's the first time that i did like a feature type set yeah killed that bit got off stage i went home thinking nobody gave a fuck right i come back the next day uh the feature desi shot it to desi alexander he uh he pulled he was like hey man you the guy from yesterday yeah they was asking about you saying you know he was good you know blah blah blah. i didn't know who he was i was like oh i just left because i didn't think nobody was gonna give a fuck about who i was and shit like that that's all. i don't know just put yourself out of there man that's all you gotta do as long as you as long as you like put yourself in the positions and you put in the work the shit gonna fall into place yeah. That's all that shit really was. Like, I put the work in, you know what I'm saying? Then it came to fruition. That shit was a cool as fuck. Uh, you got anything else you want to you wanna promote, buddy, before uh, before you, you. I want to get you back to Orlando at a reasonable time. It's dark outside and shit. Uh, oh, yeah, just my Instagram. Put that bitch up there. Cam so funny? Yes, sir. With two O's and a K for the, uh, with a K for the Cam. I'm fucking up my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, forgot, I ain't said this shit so long, but it's like with a K, put, put, put the C Wait, in it. You gotta put a, carry the one with oh, the. No, I got a K for it. Put a K for the. Cam so funny with a K, cause my dad was a blood. There you go. Uh, I got it. There Cam got go. HGTV guys. That's what that nigga got. He carried. <laughs> yeah, no, I like that. That's good. Oh man, uh, I appreciate you for being here, brother. I'm looking forward uh, to having you again. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, we got uh, one more episode in this studio. This has been an insane year, bro. It's been a crazy year. I appreciate y'all for listening. Everybody listening, downloading, playing this podcast. Um, 
I got some dates coming in uh, in in 2023. I'll put those on the, on the Instagram and in the bio of all these good things. But you know, uh, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Y'all got anything else you want to say, Ali Logan? Before we nah. bounce out, nah, man. Good show as always, Ali. Ready for 2023? Hey, you're not coming back when we do this Wednesday. Is that why you're saying that? You taking off? TBD. Uh, that's not We're doing this Wednesday. That's not in the country. Yeah. Hey, we do it twice. You've been here. Yeah, but we used to do it on Monday. You're right. Well, no, we put it out on Monday. This comes no, out. No, no, no. We do it on Monday. I know because I we did Mondays. The you Jerry show is on Monday. Yes, I'll right. bet you. Right, we'll bet. We'll bet. It's Audience. Wait. I appreciate y'all. Uh, I already said this before. Oh, that's what I was about to do. I was about to play this song at the end because Cam, uh, his shoes, I was it changed up the whole goddamn thing. All right, we out of here, baby.